Lilu is one of the most exceptional investors out there. He came to United States from China after he was involved in Tiananmen Square protests as a student. And he started studying in United States and there he stumbled upon a lecture by Warren Buffett. And he really found this whole value investing thing quite interesting. So what he did, he took his student's loan money and he started investing that. And when he ended the university, he had one million dollars in his bank account. After that, he started Himalaya Capital and he became friends with Charlie Munger. And right now he is responsible for investing Charlie Munger's family money. So if you have one of the greatest investors in the world giving his money to another investor to <laughs> invest that, well, uh, that tells a lot about the quality of this man. So today we are going to look at Lilu's US stock portfolio. Uh, we know he invests uh, in other places, mainly in China, but we don't have any concrete data on that. So we can have a look at the US stocks uh, thanks to the 13F filings that just uh, came out recently. The biggest investment is Micron Technologies, a company that produces computer memory and uh, computer data storage. The second one is Bank of America and the next position is Google. And actually in this quarter, Lilu doubled that uh, position. It was his uh, biggest investment. And the fourth position is Berkshire Hathaway. And the last one is Apple over 5%. There are two main stories for this quarter for Lilu. One is Google. We'll get to that later. But the other one is a company that he actually sold. And that is Meta. Lilu bought Meta at Q2 of 2020 for a price of around $227. Then he bought some more at Q3 2020 for $261. And then he started to sell Q4 2020 for $273 and Q1 of 2021 for $294. So he made some money on that investment and he still had a lot of shares. And he kept them till Q4 of 2021 when he bought more shares for $336. And after this acquisition, Meta reported their quarterly results and they were really bad and the price went down. Lilu hold on for another quarter, but the second quarter of 2022, he sold 100% of his shares for around $188. So we, of course, don't know the exact prices, but they were in the vicinity of uh, the prices that I show here. We can calculate that in the long term, he probably lost around 10% of his investment. But of course, uh, the prices may have been different. So maybe he broke even. And then we have to ask ourselves, why did he sell uh, at that price? Is it because he believes that uh, Meta is going down? And I did a video about uh, Meta, so you can find the link in the description. Or was he just tax harvesting? So basically he got some gains from other investments and by uh, selling Meta right now, he can show a loss uh, on his tax return. But let's go through his portfolio. So Apple, that's an investment that he made at the Q4 of 2020 and he didn't change it uh, till now. So he bought the shares around $132 and now they are worth $132. $36. Of course, in the meantime, there were some dividends. Uh, so it's a pretty stable uh, situation. Next up is Berkshire Hathaway. And he invested in Berkshire 
uh, in Q3 2021 and same story as with Apple, no change there. The price was around 272 when he bought the shares and at the end of Q2 2022 the price is very similar. Okay, so let's get to the interesting stuff, Google. As you can see, we have two lines here because Li Lu bought not only shares that he had, which are class C, but he also bought some class A shares. The difference is that uh, class C uh, doesn't have any voting rights. But right now, Li Lu also bought uh, shares uh, with voting rights, class A. There is also a class B uh, share that is uh, only for the founders and insiders and it has 10 votes per every share. And the difference in the price between class A and class C shares is not that big. Actually, the prices are pretty similar usually. He bought the shares in Q2 of 2020 for $70 and right now he doubled that for around $109. So we can see that Li Lu really believes that Google is uh, a company that still is going to grow and that it's going to be a good investment. And at number two, we have Bank of America. And uh, in this case, he invested in Q1 2020 for $21 per share and then at Q4 2021, he bought more shares for uh, a price of $44. So we can see he doubled on his investment already. And right now the price is around $31. But of course that doesn't mean anything because uh, he's not selling right now. So it's just uh, a period that he is holding um, his shares of Bank of America and waiting for uh, things to unfold. And his biggest investment, that's Micron Technology. And this uh, investment was made first in Q4 2019, when he bought the shares for around $53. Then in Q1 2020, he bought some more for $42. And then in Q3 2020, he bought even more shares for $46 or around $46. And at the end of Q2 2022, uh, the price is around $55. And the interesting thing is that this investment was actually made together with Monish Pobrai. They got together thanks to Charlie Munger, who said that Lilu and Monish should talk about their investments, that they should bounce ideas from each other like he does with Warren Buffett. That's the portfolio of Lilu. And as we can see, it's not only very concentrated, but also if we look at the quality of these companies, I mean, all of them are leaders in their markets. So uh, it's really something to think about when we are making our investment decisions. So that's it for today. If you would like to see uh, a portfolio of Charlie Munger, I made a video about that. You can find the link in the description. And uh, in the meantime, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.